This is Ben McGahey with Yammy Chess. I'm going to be your math teacher today. Yammy Chess is a math learning aid based on classic chess that helps students in math and science education for school. In this lesson, we will learn about the, how to calculate the mean, median, mode, and range in a given data set. A data set is just a list of numbers that are usually recorded um, in like a scientific experiment. So let's learn about these four measures of data. The mean is kind of like the average of the numbers. You basically add up all of the numbers in your data set and divide by how many numbers there are. So for example, if you have four numbers in your data set, you just add all the four numbers and then divide that sum by four to get the mean. The next measure of data is um, the median. That's like the middle number. So to find the median, you want to order the numbers from least to greatest. And then you start crossing out the numbers, the first and the last, the second, second to the last, until you get to the final number. And that will give you the, me the median, the middle number. And that works for when you have an odd number of numbers in your data set. And if you have an even number numbers, you'll be left with two numbers left. And to find the median, once you cross out all the numbers, you have to take the mean of those two numbers. So we'll see how that works in an example. And then the mode is like the number or the numbers in your data set that you see the most, the ones that occur most frequently. You may have one mode, one number that occurs the most. You may have two or three more. Or you may have uh, no numbers that you see the most. Maybe all of them occur just one time. So you may have no mode. And the last measure of data is the range. That's the difference between the highest number and the lowest number in your data set. So that's why it helps you to go from least to greatest. So that way you take the largest number and then subtract the smallest number in data set. Okay, so let's look at an example of a data set and then we can find the mean, median, mode, and range. So we have 2, 5, 8, 3, 7, 9, and 8. So let's see, how many numbers do we have here? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we know we have 7 numbers. And we need to do is order them from least to greatest before we calculate any of the measures of data. So we see 2 comes first, and then 3 and then 5 and we have 7 and we have 1, we have 2 8's and then 9 comes last so it looks like we ordered them from least to greatest and now to find the mean we're just going to add up all of the numbers together So we have 2 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 8 plus 8 plus 9. And then we're going to divide that by how many numbers we have. We have 7. So if we add up all of these together, we get 2 plus 3 is 5. 5 plus 5 is 10. 10 plus 7 is 17, 17 plus 8, 25, 25 plus 8 is 33, 33 plus 9 is 42. So we looks like we get 42 divided by 7, so that gives us a nice number, we get 6. So our mean, or average is 6 
query data set. And now to find the median, that's the middle number. Um, what we do is we start with the first number, cross it out, cross out the last number, do the same thing, cross the 3 out, and then cross the 8 out, cross the 5 out, cross the 8 out, and you see the only number left here is 7. And so the only number left here would be the median, so that's 7. And this works when you have um, an odd data set with an odd set of numbers. If you have an even data set, then you'll be left with two numbers, and you have to add the two numbers that are left over, divide by two. Basically, you find the mean of the, the two numbers left after crossing out the numbers. So that works for an even data set. So we have the mean is 6, the median is 7, and the mode is the number that, or numbers that you see the most. So let's take a look and see which number or numbers we see the most. You know, 2, 5, those only occur once, 3 and 7, 9 only once, but we see 8 occurs more than once. And I think that's the only number that we see more than once. The rest of them only occur one time. So 8 would be the mode. And now the range is the difference between the highest number and lowest number in the data set. So we see that we see that um, 9 is the largest number and 2 is the smallest number. So we're just going to take that difference. 9 minus 2 equals 7. So 7 is the range for our data set. And it's important to keep in mind that um, the range is usually going to be a positive number. Unless um, all the numbers are the same, and then your range will be zero, because any number minus itself is zero. So let's just review very quickly before I let you try a um, problem on your own with the data set that the mean is is like the average right so you're just adding up all the numbers and dividing by how many numbers you see in the data set the median is the middle number so basically order from least to greatest cross out the first and the last and do the same thing until you see only one number left and that works for the odd data set for the even data set, you'll be left with two numbers, and then you're going to want to find the mean of those two numbers. So adding those two numbers, dividing by two, and that'll give you the median. The mode is the number or numbers that you see the most, where they occur most frequently. And then the range is the difference between the highest number and the lowest number in your data set. Okay, so let's try a problem on our own. Um, given the data set, we have these numbers, 9, 6, 12, 4, 20, 15, 3, and 8. Find each of the following, the mean, median, mode, and range. So I'll give you a chance to pause the video to work on this problem. Uh, feel free to rewind if you need to review. Um, the definitions for each of these measures of data and then we'll go over the answers. Okay, so let's go over the answers. So first thing we need to do 
is in this data set we need to order them from least to greatest and that always helps so let's look for our smallest number we have looks like three will come first and then we have four four comes next and then we got um, six And then we have 9, it's like 12, and then we have 15, and 18, and then 20. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we have um, 8 numbers here, an even data set. So that will play an important part when we're finding the uh, median. So to find the mean, we just need to add up all the numbers. 3 plus 4 plus 6 plus 9 plus 12 plus 15 plus 18 plus 20 all divided by 8 so let's add them up we have 3 plus 4 is 7 7 plus 6 13 13 plus 9 and that 22 22 plus 12 34 34 plus 15 49, 49 plus 18 is 67, 67 plus 20 is 87, so we get 87 divided by 8. And you could use a calculator if you wanted to to find this, but um, it doesn't go in evenly, but um, there is a decimal number, but it turns out to be a nice one. So let's do 8 into 87. So 8 into 8 once, times 8, 0, bring down our 7, that goes in 0 times, 0 times 8, 0, 7 minus 0 is 7, and bring down the 0, and 8 goes into 70, 8 times, 8 times 8 64 70 minus 64 is 6 0 8 is 67 times and 56 and then we have 4 bring down another 0 and 8 goes into 45 times so there we go 8 times 5 is 40 so we get 0 so it looks like our mean is um, 10.875. 10.875 is the mean. To find the median for number two, we're just going to cross them out like we did earlier. And you see we're only left with two numbers, 9 and 12. So we're going to take the mean of 9 and 12. So 9 plus 12 is 21 divided by 2. And 2 into 21. Let's see how many times that goes. Once, 2 times, 2 goes in 1, 0. So bring down the 0 in decimal. 2 goes into 10 5 times, so it looks like we get 10.5. 10.5 for the median. And then for the mode, we see all the numbers only occur one time, so actually there is no mode. So this happens sometimes when you only see a number. Or each number occur only once. And then last but not least, the range is this high.
highest number minus the lowest number. So largest number is 20. Smallest number is 3. So we'll do 20 minus 3 is 17. So the range is 17. So let's check our answers. Mean 10.875. Median is 10.5. There is no mode. And the range is 17. So those are the answers. And if you got those, great job. So this is Ben McGahey um, with the Yummy Chess. And I want to thank you for watching this lesson. Please stay tuned for more lessons on yamichess.com. Have a great day.